everyone, good morning and welcome to this week's vlog. That was a lot of greetings all at once. You, you, are, you are greeted, you are greeted well. It is Friday morning for me right now and I just finished a home workout and I jumped in the shower. I am still a little bit sick out. I'm getting over it though. I'm feeling a little bit better with each day that, that passes. And I'm about to head out here in a couple minutes to grab coffee with two of my coworkers. We're going to Superba which I think I've been to in a vlog before. I've been going there a lot lately. They have really good uh, matcha. They have a great chai that they make in-house. They have lots of little like snacks. So it's kind of one of those places that pleases everyone. And they have a parking lot and they have a ton of seating, which is rare in LA. So that's where we're going. And then I think I want to get my nails done. They're really bad. Part of me is debating if I should just get my gels taken off and try to do no nails for a while. But then another part of me is like, it's really come in handy in auditions lately because I've gone in for a lot where they, they often take pictures of your hands in auditions. So you have to have your hands looking nice, but I feel like I wanna be spending less money. I don't know, I can't decide. I'll probably go get them done. I'm wearing a dress that I have never worn before. I'll show it to you. I got this at Crossroads, which is like, um, kind of like a thrift store. I've been there in some sip and thrifts before and this actually buttoned all the way up And it was just like a little too I don't know I don't want to say like too modest because that sounds bad But essentially that's what it is and so I think eventually I want to sew it like this so that it has this kind of neckline But for now I just safety pinned the like the inside in to give it like a faux V neck And I think I like it this way. I honestly bought this a couple months ago and I just never wore it because it wasn't necessarily flattering, you know what I mean? So I feel like this adds just enough while still being modest to where I feel a little more feminine, so I like it. And here's what's in store for this weekend. So I'm gonna get coffee with friends and then get my nails done. Sounds like such a hard day. Um, today we're getting a better parking spot, which I'm so excited for. We've had a one car parking spot and they're giving us a tandem spot, which is gonna make our life so much easier. So I need to go by our front office and get the keys for that. Then I have a lot of my social media work that I've kind of been putting off. So I'll probably get work done on the patio until Brooke gets home. Maybe do a load of laundry. Tonight is mystery date night. Who knows what we're gonna do, but I'm excited about it. Tomorrow morning, Brooke has football with the church guys and I'm actually getting coffee with the church girls. More coffee. And then we have a meeting. Our church has a conference coming up, Mosaic Conference. You should actually come. I'll see you there if you wanna come. It's in November. I think that there's only a couple hundred tickets left. So they're selling out fast, but it's in November, I think November 14th weekend if that sounds right. Um, but yeah, our church is doing a conference. We're working it. So we're starting all the meetings and prep work now. And that's that's pretty much it on the, on the books for this weekend. So I'm very excited. I'm gonna finish getting ready and we'll head out to coffee. I had the best coffee with Tommy and Samira and it was so fun that I didn't even pull up my camera, which honestly, I need to do more life things like that. We talked for over three hours. It was great. I might not get work done today, but honestly, I don't care because as I said in that Q and A, like I am shifting my mentality and I'm focusing more on like the things that are important in life and I'm cutting myself some slack and I'm trying to just be like healthier about my life and so I'm totally thrilled that that happened and that I have such great co-workers honestly restaurant jobs can be tough sometimes and like sometimes you can work with some pretty crazy people and the fact that my restaurant has like the nicest friendliest girls that are like genuine friends makes all the difference in the world and I'm very thankful for it I have had a headache for like five days now though and I've tried to not take any medicine because I've had too much ibuprofen I think in the past few days but I just took Excedrin hoping that that helps and I just pulled up to the nail salon I don't know what color to get my nails the smart thing to always do when you're an actor is to get neutral colors because it looks better on camera but I kind of want to get like a fall color so stay tuned we'll see what I decide if I decide to be rebellious or not I think I'm gonna do this one right here I went with this color and I actually really, really like it. I should stop getting my nails done though because it's, I mean, the place I go is relatively cheap for California. It's 27 for a gel manicure, which like isn't bad, but every other week it, it kind of adds up. But I'm gonna go home, figure out the new parking situation and then move into our new spot, which is so exciting. And then I think I should have about two-ish hours to get work done, which is like totally plenty. 
I need to make captions for about about 50 about 50 posts for one of the companies and then I need to compile pictures and start on captions for the other one the other one is a construction company and I really don't like making captions for that one the first one is like a shopping center so that's super easy but the construction one is hard because like I don't know anything about construction so I have to research every single caption that I write so it takes quite a bit longer so I realistically probably won't get to much of that today but I'm at least gonna try to start on it so that I feel a little bit more ahead for next week so let's go home well that was fast somebody is already in our spot like our our old spot our spot that I was in earlier today and we literally just pulled over to the side of the parking garage with my hazards in and I hope this will be a quick thing let's go let's go find out there goes the light okay oh wow oh wow look at this tandem spot <sighs> it's little things not having to look for parking at your own home and deal with the random street sweeping parking regulations don't park here after five no parking two to six a.m all of that is like <sighs> it's very nice to not have to think about that at your own home <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> i forgot that i have bought a bag of hippies so it's a good day i'm gonna snack on that get a little bit of work done Maybe go work out on the porch here in a minute after I finish snacking. Sounds like a good, good time. Might throw in some laundry into the washing machine because I can do that so casually now. I'm still not over it. I don't know if I'll ever be over it. It's a, it's a luxury I'll never take for granted ever again in my life. People that don't live in big cities that it's normal to have a washer dry in your house, just know it's not. It's a, it's a luxury. Enjoy it. <laughs> I got my sparkling water. Gonna get some work done on this beautiful day. It's so funny that it's fall, but let me check the let me check the temperature right now. 92 degrees. It's almost November. This is hilarious. I'm fine with it because I love warmth, but part of me is like really eager to wear sweaters and I just think it's funny. Like is this is this the new norm? Has it always been like this? And I just never remember. I don't know, I have a lot of questions. Moving inside to work a little more because my uh, computer is almost dead. So, gonna work, maybe put on something mindless TV in the background. Writing captions does take a little bit of like focus. So I can't, whenever I schedule posts, I can be like completely mentally check out and watch whatever, but I'll, I'll, I'll put something mindless on in the background because I can't really think about what's on too hard since I have to think about what I'm writing. And hopefully Brooke should be home in like an hour or two. I asked him what he wants to do tonight and he's like, anything. It's one of those Friday nights again. Tomorrow we have obligations and plans, but tonight, we can do whatever we want. Yeah, we can do whatever we want. Oh, you wanna see what else I got from work? Ah, I got two of these, just a minute. It looks like wine, but no, it's not. It's grapefruit juice, and I'm so, grapefruit juice is nature's cocktail. I love it more than anything. Oh, buddy, look at that color. Like grapefruit juice is my favorite thing. The bar at my restaurant makes every single ingredient from scratch, like every single fruit that's in a cocktail, they'll juice it. And then um, there's a best by date. So they can, they prepared this one on Tuesday and they have to use it up by Thursday. Whatever wasn't used up by Thursday has to either be thrown out or go home with an employee. So whenever that happens, I get so excited. And I have two of those. I have two wine bottles basically full of grapefruit juice. I try to only have one glass a day though, because that's a lot of sugar. <laughs> also, there might not be enough room in this den for a side table, but that's basically my makeshift side table. Walk me in the morning sun. Tell me I'm a lucky one. I'm riding on the way of a notion that I could be brave. Is there anything? Last one. I'm almost there. Look who's here. Hey. Who are you? <laughs> huh? 
Who are you? Oh. Okay, where are we gonna go eat? What are we gonna go eat? You don't wanna tell them what we're gonna eat? No, I don't want them to go to our favorite spots. We don't even know if it's good yet. We've never been. Well, I'm just being prepared. You can tell them after if it sucks. <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna go to a mystery place that happens to have gluten. It rhymes with Wheatza. <laughs> It rhymes with pizza. They happen to offer vegan gluten-free ones, and it is in a place that rhymes with Myland Park. That doesn't make sense. Highland Park. Oh, can't tell. Oh, okay. So we are at the secret location that Brooke will not disclose. He has a beer. I got a vegan gluten-free pizza that has rosemary. What else? Mushroom. And then I added prosciutto and honey, so it's very not vegan anymore. The gluten-free only comes in this size. Here's my hand for reference. That's so big. It wasn't even recording! Uh, I, he just dropped his pizza everywhere and I missed it. Oh man, that's a pretty deep dish though. We're home. The pizza place was so good. It was pretty pricey. And it was next door to this place called Donut Friend that I've always wanted to go to. They have like very immaculate gluten-free vegan donuts, but they advertise as gluten-free-ish. So we went in to ask them about it and they fry them in the same oil. So me with celiac, I can't have them. And I was really hoping they'd have a baked one, but they're all fried. So I couldn't get, I could not get the donut, but it's okay because I had a half of a very large pizza. <laughs> It was so good. I got a side of vegan ranch to dip it in. So good. So now it's getting, I mean, it's it's like 10. It's not even that late, but Brooke's waking up early to play football with the guys, and I want to try to fit in a workout before coffee with the girls. So I think it's going to be an early to bed kind of night. So that being said, see you in the morning. Good morning, friends. Ooh, I sound gross. Brooke was supposed to be up first, but alas, here I am. Just got my coffee, and I decided to have a cozy morning by the fire. Wow, I really can't talk. <clears throat> Still a little bit sicko, I guess. Okay, it is 8 a.m. My voice is woken up, and uh, Brooke woke up and left for football, so I went ahead and got on some workout clothes. My favorite thing about the apartment amenities, we haven't really done like the pool or the grills or anything yet, but the workout room has a cycle bike that has a screen in front of it that you can take classes. So I've been doing that lately. I used to take cycle classes all the time in person. I used to live near the cycling studio where you could buy a month membership so it wasn't astronomical per class. In Pasadena, the only good cycling studio is Soul Cycle, which is like $35 a class, so I can't afford that. So I'm really excited to have this option. I feel like I'm back in my cycling days. So I'm gonna go knock out like a 40 minute class and then I should have just enough time to get ready and leave for coffee. So it'll be fun to show you a little bit more of like the actual apartment. So let's go, let's go to the workout room. I gotta fill up my water first. This is still my favorite cup from Siete. Love you Siete, thank you for that. Oh my word. <laughs> okay, this is what happened. So I went in there and there was one other guy. He was an older gentleman on the uh, elliptical. Totally fine, but right next to the cycling bike. And he had put all of his crap, like his hoodie and keys and everything on the cycling bike. And I kind of stood there for a second, like staring at the bike and he didn't do anything. And I was like, okay. I was like, I'll just do the, uh, the treadmill until he leaves. I did the treadmill for like 30 something minutes and he still wasn't leaving. So I was like, okay, this is good enough. It's really, really hard to annoy me. But the one thing that I always just have to shake my head at is when people are like very socially unaware in any regard, like people that walk very slowly in the middle of a sidewalk instead of like to the side or people talking very loud on the phone or I don't know, just people that like aren't aware of the other people around them <laughs> is something that I'm like, you doing all right? <laughs> It's fine though, actually one of, I feel like cycling is like very intense, which is why I kind of wanted to do it today, but 
one of the things I hate running running hurts my joints it hurts my head but one of the things that I do like doing on the treadmill is doing like the maximum incline at like three and a half miles per hour um, I find that that gets my heart rate up and it works my works my booty pretty well so that's a good thing that's like low impact but still high heart rate and targets the muscles that I care the most about but I really had my heart set on cycling it's fine it's fine there's always tomorrow there's always tomorrow I'm going to make myself a quick a scramble of some sort I like to do like a kitchen sink scramble a lot I've talked about this in other vlogs where I just kind of like mix together whatever I have what do I have Let's see here let's go through my fridge I have this quinoa that Brooke never ate. I also have, I think, some pesto veggies left. Let's see here. Yeah, I have a little bit of pesto veggies left and some quinoa. So I'm gonna mix those together with probably like two eggs and call it brunch. usual it's very not pretty but I'm trying to be better about eating up leftovers and I feel like it's a way to make leftovers breakfast <laughs> just scramble it and top it with a little hot sauce boom so fresh so clean <laughs> I got my grapefruit juice it is officially nine o'clock so I am going to speed get ready and try to leave here like 9 45 10 depending on how traffic's going mm. <laughs> I'll see you when I have my face on. I still gotta make my bed, but here is my outfit today. My favorite jeans from Madewell. These are the perfect summer jeans, but I got them over a year ago. I should honestly just invest in another pair of like boyfriend mom jeans from Madewell because I basically only wear these now. <laughs> my favorite Target shoes that I have in like so many colors. And then this thrifted top that I got in a sip and thrift. It's so funny because so many of my mosaic friends from church are like, where did you get that? And this is one that I got in the Sip and Thrift. It was from Goodwill, and it's technically like a 1980s Victoria's Secret pajama top. So, not intended to be worn out and about for sure, but I actually really love it. I know it's quirky, and probably a lot of people don't like it, but I love it. So, I am wearing it. It's like super flowy, and I could tie the whole thing, but I kind of just like the French tuck look. It's kind of like cozy fall. Okay, I'm gonna make my bed and then. We will head out of here. Okay, I'm here. I just parked and it was a very stressful experience because it's like up this hill and like next to this wall and like really close to this other car and it was the only spot and I did like a 20 point turn and everyone is sitting in the coffee shop right there and they can see me. Here, I'll show you. So that's awkward. But nevertheless, I'm excited to be here and I'm just gonna casually sit in my car until I see one of my friends walk up so that way I don't have to walk in alone. My lips are really dry and when I smile and my lips are dry, they just flatten. <laughs> Well, now we are downtown at yet another coffee shop for our meeting and I did an event here years ago and it was under construction so it's really weird to see it all fixed up. Look how cute that is, but I don't need more coffee. <laughs> got a husband. Hey, you're covered in dirt. Yeah, oh. I got them nice and dirty. Nice. Thanks, Dom. No. Nice. You want to be on the vlog, yeah. Dom? Hi, friends. Aww. Dom knows. Right? You did it right. 10 out of 10. Cool glasses. Hi, friends. Bringing back the uh, hello from a bougie bathroom segment. We haven't had this segment in at least a month, but hello from a bougie bathroom. Oh, we parlayed into lunch. You found a knife? This is David, everyone. What did you get? I got a fried chicken sandwich. Sandwich. What did you get? Fried chicken sandwich. That is so predictable. I got a dandelion and celery salad with salmon. Is it extra? Was it? Is it? Yeah, it was a pretty pricey salad. No, I'm saying like, was it extra to get salmon? Eight dollars extra. No, no, <laughs> that's not what I'm asking. <laughs> oh, like extra? extra it yes, it was. Okay. It was. <laughs> yep but also extra. I'm very selfishly excited because Brooke was like, whole food smoothie sounds good. And I was like, 
So I'm meeting him at Whole Foods and uh, he's gonna get smoothie and I'm gonna live my dreams of being at Whole Foods. I love Whole Foods. All the essentials, smoothies, golden latte, and um, four day supply of Smart Sweets. <laughs> I should have them sponsor me, huh? Yeah. Please sponsor me, Smart Sweets. I just got home and I have this weird thing where like I can't even pee around anyone and Brooke's in the shower and I really gotta pee but I think that our place has a community bathroom. <laughs> which is so weird and I haven't been to it yet. Listen to my laundry, so let's go see if it's true or not. Oh my gosh, there is one. There's two actually, this is really good to know for future reference. <sighs> Thank you to my apartment complex for thinking through these things. Got my smart sweets, laundry's in the dryer, so I'm gonna fold it soon. And we're probably gonna watch Pawn Stars because we go through weird obsessions of shows like Great British Baking Show, Shark Tank, Lately we've been really liking Pawn Stars. It's weird. <clears throat> it's very weird, but I enjoy it. So we're probably gonna watch that and hang out for a bit. I saw the mail lady delivering lots of packages at the mailboxes though. So we'll probably go here in a minute to go see if we got any packages. And tonight I am capping us off on eating out. We have been eating out way too much lately. We have leftovers too. So um, we're probably gonna chill at home and try to be to bed early because tomorrow we have to wake up at six for church it's gonna be a long day so i'm ready to just like hang out and chill out for the rest of the day well, thanks for heating up the pizzas this is one of those like holy grail lincoln <laughs> who are you also that hair though oh my word oh this pizza feels a lot less expensive when we got two meals out of it right <laughs> Your hair is still so funny. <laughs> the uh, last adventure of the day. <laughs> Don't hurt Mr. Fiddleleaf. My camera's still strobing. Sometimes it strobes for way too long. I think uh... No, it's just trying to reach the sun. Cause it's a little... Oh, there it goes. Since we're gonna go. Our apartment has a sign that says this is not a delivery area. They put all the packages over here and we have to go through every single one of them and try to figure out which one's ours. We got subscription boxes because I'm going to do a round three of subscription. Oh, I'm excited to open that one actually. The clean beauty box. And I don't know what that other one is. We'll find out. Do it again. No. Please. <laughs> no, you didn't do it that time. Again. <laughs> It's not funny. <laughs> it was funnier earlier. I can't explain it. I'll go explain it. I was dying. I wish you could have seen it. Frank did this thing where he like fell between the pillows, but like it was just part of his face and he was like, it's not funny unless you were there. I'm sorry. It is the late old time of 930. So I'm officially going to start showering and getting ready for bed. Like the young 22 year old that I am living it up. So with that being said, I'm going to end the vlog here, but I love y'all so much, so much. It's another great weekend full of friends and food and not many obligations besides a meeting. So it was great. I love you. Hope you have the best rest of your week and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye.